Hello my chariots, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a pick a card reading. It is a beautiful Saturday morning here in Pennsylvania. So I am choosing to do this pick a card reading and the reading today is going to be messages from your angels. Uh, all the cards that I'm using today are termed with the word angel in some way or guide. So today what we're looking for is what your angels want you to know at this time. And I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to shuffle everything on camera ahead of time and then have the three piles. So I'm going to have three piles today. Um, if you want to watch the shuffling, go right ahead. And if you are not interested in that, you can always just look in the description box below and pick the timestamp for the reading and then go right to that reading. If when you look at the piles you are drawn to more than one pile, that's perfectly fine. That just might mean there's messages in the other piles for you to look at. And if nothing resonates with you, that is fine too. That just means that the reading was not for you. So I want to thank everyone for their continued support. And to remember to like, subscribe, and share my videos if you get the chance. And I think that's everything I have to say. So what I'm going to do is start shuffling. I do have three piles today that you'll see. Um, and I have these little things. I'm making homemade cards now. So I have a bag of different emblems and stickers and whatnot. So I just picked three of those. So you will see the cards that I pick for each pile. But pile one is going to be this sticker that says best wishes. Pile two, you are going to have this one that says warm. In pile three, you have this little one that says always and forever. So let's just get started with the shuffling. And if you can't see, I'm just lighting some Paleo Santos to just cleanse the cards and my space really quickly before we get started. And I always ask my guides that I'm working with when I start a reading to remove all negative energy that is stored in these cards, in these crystals, and in my sacred space so that light and love, guidance and clarity can be given for the messages needed today. And I hope my s smoke alarm doesn't start going off because that was that was pretty strong. Okay. All right. So we will start with Oracle of the Angels. Oh no. to do like this. Here we go. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everyone is healthy, safe, happy. We have a beautiful spring day here in Pennsylvania. The flowers are blooming. We have actually 
neighborhood yard sales going on this morning. So if you hear the noise, I apologize. But it's definitely one of those days to get outdoors and enjoy nature. Okay, let's get started. These are messages from our angels today, please, for piles one, two, and three. is Ask Your Guides Oracle. This is Ask Your Angels. is from the Keepers of the Light. Ancestors, Oracle, Oracle cards. Oops, oh boy. See, when you do it this way, you, everyone gets to see the messiness. <laughs> up these are little angel whisper messages two tarot cards, okay. Okay. 
This reading is inspired by my friend Kit. If you have not checked out her channel, please go ahead and take a look. Tarot This and That 1111. Uh, she did a reading about messages from angels this week and I thought it was beautiful. So um, I was inspired to do that as well. That is your cards. All right, so here we have it. Pile one, best wishes. Pile two, warm. And pile three. always and forever. So do what you need to do in order to pick your piles. Pause the video if you have to, and I will see you at your reading. Hello, pile one. You picked the pile that says best wishes. So I am just going to set that over here for now, okay? Um, this is messages from your angels. All the cards being used are angel tarot and oracle cards. So we will see what is coming through. These are messages from your angels, what they want you to focus on, what you need to know most at this time. So we're starting off with the tarot cards we have. Queen of Water, that is the Queen of Cups. Tenderhearted, empathetic, patient, loving. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition, care for yourself and others. Okay. And then we have Six of Swords. Things are looking up the end of a difficult situation taking a trip all right those are your tarot cards and then let's see i want to see here what can we pull first these are all your oracle cards all right let's pull the keeper of the light who is with you master jesus forgiveness you are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. Okay. And then we have from Angel, this is, what is this again? The Oracle of the Angel cards. Angel Whispers, card number 28. And then we also have from Ask Your Guides, Appreciation, Divine Helpers. Wow. I love the way this is turning out so far. And then Ask Your Angels, Big Happy Changes. Such a positive flowing energy right now I'm picking up on pile one. And then from your Angel Whispers, your message, you are a being of the universe. Feel the connection. You are never alone. And I truly am feeling that right now. And lastly, from the angels and the ancestors, the traveler move in a new direction. Wow. Okay, pile one, what am I getting? We're starting off with the Queen of Water, the Queen of Cups. So I feel in this situation, this reading, you are moving in a new direction when it comes to a relationship or a situation. I feel that something has happened in your past that you needed to move away from 
And now you are on the road to really discovering yourself and who you are and who you want to be. And because of that, there is a new relationship waiting to blossom. There is something new here that's going to be happening for you in the future. So again, if we look at this Queen of Cups, relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition, care for yourself and others. The Queen of Cups is a very, very loving and compassionate queen, okay? She knows and understands her emotions and she understands her um, inner self. She trusts her uh, intuition, her sensitive side, and she, she extends that to others. So this card is telling you, Pile One, that uh, you need to believe in your intuition and follow that. Uh, with the Six of Air here, the Six of Swords, and here we see this horse uh, actually standing in a boat okay things are looking up the end of a difficult situation taking a trip so obviously there's something that you've gone through pile one and you know the name of your little uh, emblem here was best wishes and i feel that that's what most of you are going through right now you need to wish someone from your past something that did not work out in your past best wishes you are moving on you are taking this trip now this could mean actual little tr literally travel travel might be in store for you you might be going on vacation now uh, the world is definitely uh, starting to open up a little bit more so maybe you're able to take a trip now to go towards someone to see someone um, and if you're not going to someone brand new it does say here that relationships develop to a new level so if you're currently in a situation with someone perhaps uh, you just have um, worked through a really difficult moment and now things are taking a turn for the better okay things are taking a turn um, to improve the situation because perhaps you finally stood up for yourself you know we are following your intuition and you know uh, anything that was difficult along the way your heart being the empathetic soul that you are you are able to forgive and that might mean being able to forgive someone that has hurt you badly but being able to move on as well and that forgiveness you are on the path of light and love and forgiveness. That is helping you to heal. That is helping you to move forward, to look at the present in a whole new light, okay? We have number 28 here, the angel whispers. And when you look at this card, it's like this young girl, this woman, she's sitting in this beautiful meadow and you can see there's an angel whispering to to her and i feel that's exactly what's the queen of uh, water cups is saying here to trust your intuition the angels are whispering to you you heard that you understand that and you are appreciating that now look we have this beautiful card on appreciation and you are not only appreciating what is going on in your presence and what is around you i mean we have this couple here and uh, they're extending someone's extending flowers to the other person and again they're in this beautiful meadow surrounded by these beautiful flowers showing the forgiveness showing that you appreciate now maybe the both of you had to work on learning how to appreciate one another more maybe that uh, you know was taken for granted and there was a situation that you needed to work through and now you're finally understanding one another but not only that you're able to forgive and you're able to appreciate the divine help all of these three cards master jesus and angel whispers are showing the divine help that's being handed to you look at these hands with these stars that are you know reaching down this and surrounding you all right there are 
your angels, your guides, the universe surrounding you at this time. They are really on your side. And this, this card that's all in red, that's showing me the passion all right this and and the the power and the stability actually this is a card number 40 and four reduces to the emperor so this is all about standing in your power you know standing in your power and having that stability having the foundation to move forward to do things right and we also have here big happy changes okay and this is from angel answers the angel answers oracle deck and look there's just this woman who's completely happy with her hands lifted there's a rainbow of light that surrounds her from this sunlight big happy changes this ain't the your angels are telling you that there is something big and new and finally you're coming out of this cycle you know it says here the end of a difficult situation and this card number 28 reduces to 10 which is 10 is completion completion of a cycle so you are coming out of what must have been a difficult situation for you and you know how that emperor power that strength you know now things are going to get better for you as you move on you are moving in a new direction look at this the traveler all right you are moving in a new direction uh, the traveler here again you have two cards talking about taking a trip so you're either moving towards someone you are going to travel uh, with this one since this is the final I like to use this as a final advice uh, I'm going to actually read the traveler from the book just to see what the message is um, but this reading just gives me an overall feeling that you are finally, you are finally getting out of a tough situation and you are going to be able to move finally into a whole new chapter, a whole new journey for yourself that is going to bring nothing but light and love because you were able to forgive and move forward. And that means whether you are able to forgive your current partner now and start over and start fresh and appreciate one another or you are able to forgive someone that hurt you in the past and heal and release that so you can move forward and experience these lovely changes that are on um, the way for you so it says here for the traveler welcome any opportunities to travel either to the outer world or to your inner worlds. The road you are on may be the road less traveled, but this journey is going to be highly beneficial for your emotional and spiritual growth. If it isn't about covering outer distance, it's about covering distance within, and you will be evolving every single moment of it. Remember to keep things simple and to lighten your load because that will make your journey more enjoyable. You are also being encouraged to see how far you've come and how you've really grown as a person because this recognition will support you in going even further. And there's a good chance that along the way, you'll make new friends who will become companions for a lifetime. So again, this is a message letting you know from your angels they want you to know that you have been surrounded you are a being of the universe feel that connection because they are with you they have surrounded you you are never alone okay you are always surrounded by the universe and your guides and these angels and they are just to me this is just a confirmation for you at this point that your life is moving in a new direction because I think it's not only an outer even though some travel may occur for you it's more of an inner it's an inner growth it's healing within and that is such a strong power especially this number 40 when it comes to the Emperor okay so pile one that is your reading okay that is the messages that your angels wanted to give you today i hope this resonated with you in some way and i will see you again at the next reading bye 
Okay, hello pile two. You checked, you checked, you picked the pile that says warm. Okay, so I am going to put that right there and I'll set your number here. This is messages from your angels, what they want you to know at this time. I'm sorry, ooh, I just bumped the camera and I'm finishing my coffee. Um, messages from your angels at this time, what it is that they want you to know. So we will get started with your two tarot cards. Seven of water, this is the seven of cups. A complex decision, the need to do research, stop procrastinating. And the eight of earth, which is the eight of pentacles. Skilled work is rewarded, learning all there is to know about a topic, going back to school. Okay, and then the next one I want to look at is the Keepers of the Light. What guide is with you at this time? Kali Ma, wow, facing fear. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. Wow, look at that. Okay. And then what else? Angel, oh no, let me see. This is ask your guides, business. And then Venus is written here. Venus is the planet that attracts love and beauty. And then this is angel answers, remain positive. And then Oracle of the Angels, we have here Inner Child, Inner Child, number 22. And then your final guidance card is from Angels and Ancestors Oracle. And we have White Witch with a beautiful owl here. Be the light. And then your message from Angel Whispers on this little card is, tell a loved one how much they do truly mean to you. It's better to tell them while they are among the living. Wow, very interesting. Very interesting pile too. So just give me a minute to look over everything. I just want to take in what needs to be said. Okay, so what I am hearing, pile two, and what I am seeing from all the cards for you is that you have feelings for someone and you are afraid to present this. You are afraid to tell this person how it is that you feel, okay? We start off here with the seven of cups, the seven of water, a complex decision, the need to do research, stop procrastinating. And each cup in this picture, you know, which is in the water. So obviously we are dealing with a lot of emotions at this time. I feel that this person just brings to you a lot of different emotions. Each cup to me is representing these beautiful lights, which are the colors of the seven chakras. And here we have the seven of cups. So I feel that this person has just brought so many feelings to you that you have been afraid to deal with. And it's telling you to stop procrastinating now, that you need to make this decision. I feel with the eight of earth here, the eight of pentacles, 
there's something that you've researched when it comes to this person. Maybe it's about the connection itself. You know, we have this angel here with all the books piled up. And yet behind them is this beautiful mountain, this lush mountain. And you, this angel, is surrounded by these greens. But the Eight of Pentacles is all about, you know, skill and mastery. It's wanting to perfect something. It's wanting to work on something. It's wanting to build something. And I feel that you've been researching something. Perhaps it's about your connection with this other person. I feel that a lot of time has been put in or maybe a lot of investment, especially with um, the pentacles here. You've been investing in something. You've been investing in something and it could just be maybe you've been talking to other people, getting their opinions trying to figure out if you should move forward because this is such a heavy decision like you're debating whether or not to come forward whether to come forward and express your emotions and your feelings to someone about a situation that happened and here we have this kalima facing fear i mean this is blatantly major spiritual changes are unfolding this is your chance to soar so this is your chance pile too. Perhaps you've just never been one to engage in your emotions. Perhaps this person has just brought these emotions that have triggered you and brought them to light that you've been afraid to deal with. And this is just such a unique experience. Uh, there's a lot of fear here and it could be we do have the inner child card here. And what I'm getting from that is there could have been something going on that, you know, just maybe your whole life growing up, there's just a lot of, uh, maybe you just didn't have the chance to express the emotions that you had with inside of you the way that you wanted to or the way that you would have liked. Maybe your parents or your caretakers prevented that from happening. Or maybe it's just you yourself and you really don't understand why, but you've always kept your feelings and your emotions very close, your heart guarded, uh, afraid to take that chance on love, afraid to risk, you know, for fear, for facing this fear of the hurt that you might encounter. It could also be that you were hurt along the way in the past so that you are afraid to now move forward with someone, that you're unsure, you know, and your past, your, your past relationships, your past uh, life, maybe even in a different life that you don't even understand at this time something happened. But your angels are telling you to remain positive they are telling you to remain positive that this is this light that's shining from this angel. You know, they want you to shine your light on this person or this situation, whoever it is. And this doesn't have to be a romantic situation. It could just be a loved um, one between a family member, um, a sibling that you've been on the outs with, uh, a caretaker it could even just be a friend working through some sort of friendship that you feel that you're on the outs with but there's something here about moving forward relief releasing the fears that you are carrying within you and able to move forward something that you need to say to someone that you've been holding back and here again we have business we have Venus um, you know, it is possible with the Eight of Pentacles and the, this word business here for Venus that there's just a love of a passion of a business that you want to start with someone. Maybe if it's not an actual person, maybe there's just an endeavor or something that you really want to do with someone else and you're afraid to move forward. You're afraid to let them know 
that this is the passion that you're looking for, that you're afraid to invest with this other person and you're unsure. But spirit is telling you here to remain positive. This number, this business, this Venus, I mean, Venus, she's all about love and attraction. You know, and the more love you spread, you know, the more you'll get in return, the more abundance that's returned to you. This is card number 52. It reduces to seven, which again is all about that spirituality, the divine connection. So your angels are telling you to go for it. And look, look at your message. Tell a loved one how much they do mean to you. It's better to tell them while they are among the living. So I feel that this is your angels. This is your guides telling you, why hold back now? What do you have to lose? What are you so afraid of? Even in the end, if this person or this situation doesn't react the way that you would have hoped for, is that really worth it? Is it really worth it in the end? At least this way you know that you've tried. At least now you know that, hey, I was honest, I was open, I was authentic. I know what my feelings are, you know, and yes, you're taking a risk, but in the end, if you shine this light, this light will always be returned to you. And look, look at this. You're ending with your final guidance card from the angels and ancestors. And this card is beautiful. The white witch. I'm going to read from the book, but it says, be the lights. And we have this owl here. Owls mean wisdom. So you have the wisdom you know right and the greens that are here in this woman's hair along with this butterfly and butterflies mean transformation and change okay and in, in your card here of facing fear major spiritual changes are unfolding you are waking up pile two you are feeling the warmth of this light that you want to share and I don't think that's something that you should have to hold back and hold with inside you because all that is going to lead to is a fear and a feeling of regrets. And why? Why live with that feeling of regrets? You know, your angels are saying here, while people are alive right now in this 3D world, you know, here this earth energy, the pentacles, that means physical material world right now tell tell them about you these emotions okay and you think this is a complex decision but it really isn't it's actually quite very simple it's quite simple let me read from the white witch and see what your guidance is the message take the higher road and choose the light remove yourself from lower energy experiences no matter what is happening to you or around you you have a choice choose not to be pulled into dramas bickering or energies that are just going to limit your joy if you are surrounded by people who are hostile towards you or someone else or you are in a negative situation perhaps in your workplace you are being invited to be the light. You are an incredible person who can really bring light. So how can you change the energy? How can you redirect conversation to love? How can you protect yourself? How can you help the person that is being picked on? Or are you the one who is guilty of causing drama? You will know the answers. Know also that you are being encouraged to shine the light where you were born to share. So pile two, your message from your angels is to spread this light. And also what I'm picking up on from reading that is if, if you've been surrounded with toxicity, with drama, if you are in a situation where you know, where you know in your heart that this situation that's around you just brings you nothing but low energy that brings your drive down that makes you feel so unhappy and that you know that that needs to be released this is 
the angel is telling you to remain positive, but it's something that you need to do. You need to face your fears, okay, that most likely stem from your inner child. But we have this number 22 here. It reduces to four, and this is the emperor. So this is your angels asking you to stand in your power and have a conversation on whatever it needs to be. And it can go either way from hearing what the message is from this white witch. If there is someone that you have deep feelings for, tell them. If there is a job opportunity or a career, if you don't feel like you're in a positive, happy situation and you need to change that and move on, tell them, do it. And unfortunately, if you are just living in a situation where you feel that you're surrounded by toxicity, where you feel that there's just not the love that you need and we're expecting, tell them. All right. Remain positive and tell them. But do it now so that you do not regret it later. So pile two, I hope this resonated with you in some way. And I will see you again soon at the next reading. Bye. Hello, pile three. You picked this little card that says always and forever. So I am going to put that right there in your number. Now, this reading today is messages from your angel. All right, we are asking your angels, what messages do they need you to know today? What is, what is it that's on their mind? What is it that they want to tell you? What's most important in their eyes? Okay, so we're gonna start off with your tarot cards. Okay, and you have, wow. Number three, the Empress, Archangel Gabriel. Gabriel is the angel of messages. Lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams, nurture yourself and others. Beautiful, beautiful card. What else? The Knight of Fire, this is the Knight of Wands, passionate, adventurous, self-assured, restless, a sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things through carefully. Okay. And next, I want the Keepers of the Light. What, who is with you at this time? Paul the Venetian, experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. And then let's look at, this is, Oracle of the Angels. Ooh, wow. Believe in Dreams, card number 44. And then Angel Answers we have here. Yes. Wow. And then this is Ask Your Guides. New Beginnings, Divine Father. Amazing, amazing. And then your guidance, your last card is the shaman, trust in higher forces. Wow, and we'll actually read from the book on this, this one. That's your final guidance. And then we have the message. What does your angels want to tell you? Be open to receiving. You do deserve to receive. Wow, pile three. Let me see, let me just take in. There's a beautiful energy that's pouring through of fire and passion, new beginnings. I feel, pile three, that you are the group that is standing finally in their power. You have this passion to want to do something. You've been, you have been restless. Whatever has been going on in your life, it just hasn't brought you any peace and harmony and 
that feeling of being content. You are passionate for something. There is something new that you want to take on. There is something new. We have these, this, you know, the new beginnings. Um, and there's a dream that you have. There's a dream that you keep thinking about that you can't get off your mind. Look, believe in dreams. And we have this infinity symbol here, which represents how, you know, the cycle of life continues on and on, whether it's in this 3D world or beyond. There's butterflies in this picture, which shows me there's a transformation that has taken place. And the heart area is just lit up with light in this beautiful, beautiful uh, golden light. And there's this castle that just shines in the background. Pile three, you are for hoping for a new start, for something beautiful, a new beginning that you're very passionate about. I mean, we start out with the Empress. That is all about creation and fertility and abundance. And both cards are talking about dreams. In this card, it says here, give birth to your dreams, nurture yourself and others. The Empress is a very compassionate and understanding uh, woman energy this divine feminine energy where she cares for everyone and look how this angel that represents her in this card is just surrounded by the beautiful lush green forest and the animals and look even behind her is this just beautiful waterfall her energy her emotions are flowing okay uh she takes care of everyone that's around her. That's just who the Empress is. She's very loving compared to her counterpart, the Emperor. Okay, so this is a very loving, emotional side of you, Pile 3. You have this passion, this adventure that you want to, you know, this dream. Whether it's just with a new life, a new career, or a person. Okay, but a sudden event that needs immediate attention, you have this fire that is just built up inside you that there's something that you must deal with immediately. And whatever it is, whatever questions that you're asking yourself, your angels are telling you yes. And this is yes with an exclamation point, which is even um, two cards are in this deck. You have yes and then yes with an exclamation point, which means absolutely. You have the sun and the moon here. Okay, this is almost showing me the high priestess, that intuition that comes from within. There's something inside of you. And we have the purple, the purple robe. There's something that you feel that you're drawn to that is just a spiritual connection. There's a divine draw. There's something bigger than just what occurs right in front of you in this 3D world and that you are fully aware of this. And here's your confirmation that your angels, your guides, whoever you surround yourself with, your higher self, your gods, whatever it is, they are. this is the confirmation telling you, yes, go forward. Here's this passion. Go forward. You know, think things through carefully, but you are on your way to this new beginning. Look, we have the Divine Father here again. Card number 11. There's the number 11 if that means anything to anyone. Okay, 11 is... Um, in tarot the justice card which is all about finding that balance within yourself okay looking for that stability looking for peace looking for harmony and here here's the universe reaching out their hands with the stars here which represent hope okay hope and healing and look this person trying to reach up and jump up and grab this hand because you know pile three you know that something big is about to happen for you. And here it's saying to experience, experiencing grace, share your gifts with grace, waves of inspiration. So whatever passion, again, your, you know, creation, passion, abundance, inspiration is just flowing through you at this time. All right. 
that it's just flowing through you and coming to you and you need to yes move forward believe in those dreams yes new beginnings are happening yes be open to receiving you do deserve it no matter what has happened in your past you do deserve this love and passion it is is worth it and you have to continue to keep going look always and forever whatever is going on here it will always and forever be with you okay this feeling will always and forever be with you so create make that dream come true move forward reassure yourself that this is the way and here we have the shaman trust in higher forces so again this is your angels your guides telling you to trust in the higher the higher powers i'm going to actually read from the book on this one okay um but this card that we have here we're with the shaman the owl if that's a sign to anyone that sits on his head represents the wisdom the wisdom that the shaman has it's almost like that high priestess who knows the higher forces they know that something exists beyond just what is right in front of you and that you have to continue to believe in that in order to keep going that there's so much passion and there's so much hope inside of you that is built up you just have to be willing you have to be willing to keep going and you know you look at this card number 44 that reduces to eight which is the strength card in tarot so that's all about you know standing in that power being strong okay being strong with yourself your inner self having that courage to know in your heart what is true and what you believe in and carry that on and then even if you just look at the fours the fours themselves a four represents the emperor so there's this emperor here again trying to help you to stand in your power to tell you yes whatever your question is the answer is yes and you know in your heart that the answer is yes so just be open be open to receiving it let me read the message for the shaman okay the shaman the message is here trust in your angels your guides and your ancestors if you have given your power away claim it back okay so first off you know there could have been a situation where you just gave your power away you were giving it to others you were not taking the reins of your own life and this is their way of saying whatever happened you know you need to step into this empress power you have to know you have to do you have to follow this passion this passion that is within you this restlessness it will be with you always forever unless you actually do something about it but not doing anything at all it'll just sit there it'll fester is what i'm hearing the expen the extended message is there are sp spiritual allies working in your favor and their miracles will unfold much more easily when you move into a state of trust so call back your power and stop allowing external forces to divert you from the miracles that you deserve okay so hearing that i almost get this feeling like you've struggled with feeling like you deserve happiness that you feel like you don't deserve to be happy because of some of the choices that you made and that's just not true hand over all of your concerns to your spiritual allies when you do so you allow them to send you intuitive guidance and messages that will allow you to correct the situation and come out on top so again it's like that high priestess energy follow your intuition stop ignoring it the shaman card also shows that you have shamanic potential to move between the realms and connect with your guides in an extremely personal way so what i'm getting from that too is that some of you may be gifted you may be able to feel um, the energy between different worlds yet you know that there's something bigger out there i think i was saying that before that you can feel these forces it's not just what 
exists right in front of you. There's something much bigger out there. And I feel that you are very intuitive and you do have these abilities, okay, to work with energy. You pick up on things, you know things, but yet at the same time, I feel that you need to use them in a more positive manner, that you need to work and use them to bring yourself happiness, true happiness from within, not, not taking happiness from others, but using that positive energy for good. But you have abilities either that you're unaware of or that you're afraid to deal with. Um, and it's all right here. They're saying that they will be with you always and forever. Okay, and that you just have to believe and trust. Uh, it's all to me, this is all about just believing in what you know in your heart to be true. So pile three, that was the message from your angels for today. I hope it resonated with you in some way and I will see you again very soon. Bye.